Something is wrong here. Very wrong. Look at that! Welcome back, everybody. We'll be discussing more Elder Scrolls Online with this little addendum here. As we're fighting off wolves with our mage, we do so in the lowest settings possible, the lowest graphical settings I could complete. Um, just to... because I want to see how the game runs when it's just bare bones. As you see, some of the textures hold up better than others. For instance, these don't don't look so good. It's not it's not great. So some things like here, boom, you'll see that um some of the flaws that you'll get if you do opt for the lowest amount possible is bam, a lot of um, pop up errors. So while things like this little doggy wolfy thingy still looks kinda good and there's also some other elements like some of the textures the water looks alright looks like something's off definitely but it looks alright for the last. lowest settings I saw you defeat the these are a little uh, strange so we can um, get this is one of more quests here Bennett going that give glimpses of events that affect many lives and this, has, this has these vision the things way. who knows no. Please. So I kind of wanted to do this because I used to have a very minimal rig. Um, I used to have to play Oblivion on just the most inhumane lowest settings ever. Where I really had to tweak them around just to um, get something decent going. Something that I could actually see and play at the same time, so with a decent frame rate. Um, this, I, I, I like the armor and stuff. The face, if we get in a little closer there, it holds up, but it's it definitely looks a bit dopier. But uh, since I've gotten a more decent rig, I couldn't really um, see what the performance would be like, unless if I um, kind of like this, just went down on the visual settings myself. But I gotta say, it's it's not bad. It's definitely doable. So, um, if you're working on the most minimal settings, yeah, you'll have a little bit of choppiness. Yeah, it won't. It'll look a little like Legos instead of your grand old adventure. But you'll definitely be able to enjoy the full breadth of the Elder Scrolls Online. For instance, this spider here pretty much looks top notch. Of course, it's going to have much more detailed settings otherwise, but. That's, that's a good looking spider. It could um, pass for a 10 year old game. So we'll just do a little bit of more adventuring. Some more elements, naturally, with all the crafting and stuff going on that we'll do later. We'll need um, things like mining. Uh, there's a bunch you can do. Um, more of this quest, more of these vision things coming up as well. You are one of us. There we go. Werewolf things, whatever that's going on. I forget. It's not super important, but Bloodthorn cult. This though. Zombies all over the graveyard. Oh yeah, he said it. Zombies the in the Elder Scrolls. And there's a lot of people here. All. People seem to really dig the zombie thing. It's just other enemies, but it's very occult. Bam! More <laughs> chopping. Very wrongly put there. Animations not quite up to par. These dudes um, seem to um, not be bothered with you that much, unless you do stuff like that. But those will be like, um, they bring forth the dead, and then the dead come and mess you up. So you'll spend a lot of time in that graveyard, yeah, sorry about that. you spend a lot of time in that graveyard, um, kind of running in between the undead. There's a little crypt here, kind of reminded me of Guild Wars 2, that does a similar thing. 
You'll get more quests naturally, that's why you need to go down Amazing, here. Stranger. You are not a cultist. Help us defeat these necromancers. Enjoying the scenery? She looks just exploring the absolutely island. horrible in lower the settings. Fellows disturbing the graves and decided that to is kill just you. just nasty. So once again, you can um, envelop yourself in a sort of disguise, which will help you run around in the graveyard above. So the undead won't follow you that much, unless you go and bother them, of course. Um, and also skills, etc. If you level up, you can choose these things we've um, discussed that in the prior videos there you see a zombie holding off a special attack um, which you can either um, stunt or evade this is a quest item you have to um, fetch a certain amount again fetch quests are not that much of an issue in this game the staff is fully charged fetch. Quickly. Yay. Meet mostly me because um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do while you're doing that. This is triggered by that um, stuff. You have to fight a few dudes, a few avatars. Um, we are going to encounter a problem later on with those, by the way. This one is dead, but um, ugh. later we're going to run into quite a bit of trouble. I think particularly with this one, um, the quest just doesn't trigger, there's a billion people there lined up, all waiting around, some of them trigger, um, some of them don't. See for instance that person is fighting an imaginary being, and um, that just s stood around there for quite a while. I think I tried for like half an hour, an hour maybe. So yeah, definitely still bugs going around. Here we'll um, kind of take a look at all the visual settings that you can have. Boom, if we get in a little closer. I did leave on a little bit of stuff, but mostly it's minimum or lower off. I just put on anti-aliasing. This um, pickpocketing and... Um, well, not pickpocketing. Lockpicking will be back as well. They kind of spontaneously come up, they were there at that place where the um, quest didn't trigger, so I decided to see what that's all about. It's a little tricky. It's, um, I don't think they explain it that well, because I, I, I wasn't doing a fairly good job. Neither were those next to me. It took quite a few tries, so here I fail. Then I can't actually get back into it because there was a player right next to me, as we see there, who immediately took the chest. Further on. Still no change. Some of them are getting um, their quest triggered. That's not a quest trigger, that's just a random enemy. Quite annoying. Um, also, by the time I um, want to return, boom, where the chest was, it was gone. So I had kind of nothing to do because that was the only thing I could do before the quest was still triggering. You see some people there having luck. They are indeed getting triggered quest for their particular playthrough which looks very strange by the way but whatever a little change of pace um, again these environments are very close to each other you won't be stuck in one grayish area um, here we'll see very closely in a second how um, again the pop-up issues come in if you try and put on the lower settings. So it is doable, but you will have, of course, many um, hindered steps. First, we are going to look at the morph ability that kind of customizes your gameplay there. Further on on skills, you can put them however you like. Also, first going to go into some iron mining, apparently. But now, just keep a close watch on the middle of the screen. There. Yep. And then. Bleep. That is quite ugly. Again, more um, quest related things, which is the most bare bones of special effects there for that fire. As well as these silhouettes, of course. They are much better animated if you put up. 
your visual what setting just that even. It killed hundreds of orcs. This the was very fun as a kind of right Lego playthrough. The covenant against invaders. Like my first MMO or something. A bunch of different skills by now also in that little bar underneath for combat. Um, one last look imprinted in your mind and uh, let's do away with this boom this is looking just a tad bit better but um, for the biggest um, things that need to um, adjust you can see that there there's already slight adjustments but uh, of course we need to apply it in real time just to see um, how well it fares. Naturally, that's just an estimate depending on how good your rig is at processing it. It d didn't take that long for me. That would be a comparison. It looks just... You can see there's vegetation, people have defined features, there's um, effects everywhere. Quest still not triggering that much though. But it looks so, so much better suddenly, doesn't it? Now you feel like, yeah, this is this is the Elder Scrolls. Can't wait to kill some stuff. This fight here with this undead, um, just showing off again some of the skills, as well as his special attacks he did a little earlier there. But now you can also see that um, silhouettes like these ghosts next to me are much better. This is kind of a strange thing. This is a flashback that you're doing? Hello. Targoth! The Breton King has sealed himself deeper in the ruin. He is preparing some foul spell. I know only that the magic he summons will slaughter our army. This is... just... just watch. Just watch. Your color. Does he live or die? By your command, he will pay the blood price. Sounds ominous, right? Strike true, pig child. Don't make me wait. <laughs> why? I why just why him? why is I that the voice. proper animation for you it? Torment me even in death. I don't I cannot refuse. Make your question count, pig child. Even in death, he's pretty tricky about stuff. Um, just this is a continuation of that quest where um, you're in a flashback and you're going to murder this dude. He's done for because um, we're Please. inside of his. Damn you! Help me! Um, sanctuary. You have questions. If you remember you um, from features. before, the no other lady set. looked. Um, much less what is to come. nice than this. This this looks nice. Now we'll um, just head into again some of the auxiliary features of the Elder Scrolls. When you're not out fighting and combating, you'll do a lot of this crafting mechanism here um, with potions and stuff and alchemy. So different ingredients as well as water. You combine them, you'll get different effects out of them. It's very easy to do. You just need to um, kind of um, look out into the environment for things to collect. We'll uh, also do that for enchanting, for which you use those runes we were picking up earlier on and in earlier videos. If you combine them in the proper aligned words, kind of like Diablo, you'll get some special effects out of it. Um, here in the form of uh, little emblems, which we will um, start equipping later on. First we're going to see if we can make some different ones just by simple alterations. That should do. So there is a bunch of different elements that you can do um, without having to quest. For instance here with provisions, which um, is the food making stuff. There we'll go into um, those um, enchanted items to just... Um, show what you can do for like customized equipment there's probably going to be many many higher tiers a lot of flash effects that you'll get in the end from that 
it's quite sizable to keep you entertained during your MMO days. So time for a little more questing here. Just a tad, tad bit. As we move into another dungeon with tons of players around. All doing the same thing. And now enjoy three minutes of fishing because I like doing that very much. Otherwise, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.